I'm in a place I wanna be. I'm fighting things no one can see. Why are they still here? Hey everybody, how you doing today? I'm John Tagliari from The Fit Show. You guys know that. This is Erin and Courtney from Tetris Nutrition. Tetris. Tetris Nutrition. <laughs> wow, can't talk today. Uh, welcome. Welcome back to the Wednesday Nutrition Shorts. Happy holidays. Hope you guys had a Merry Christmas. Hope you didn't eat too, too much. We talked about all that last week, so we hope you kind of listened. Um, so how are you guys doing today? Awesome. How are you? Good. Good. Why don't you tell everybody a little bit about yourselves? Sure. Absolutely. So I'm Aaron. This is Courtney. Um, we are from Tetris Nutrition Consulting. Um, being in CrossFit for a really long time, we realized how important nutrition is. Mm -hmm. um, so we wanted to kind of create a program or programs designed for people, um, and it's based on your macronutrient intake. Um, and we design programs for people um, to fit their needs, um, like I said, based on the macronutrient intake. Um, so every program is different, but it's very individualized. We hold our clients accountable uh, with weekly check-ins, um, logs, database, pictures, all that stuff. So um, we really pride ourselves in kind of the accountability and the one-on-one -on -one coaching that these guys get from us um, while they're in their program. That's awesome. Where yeah. are you guys located now? Uh, so CrossFit Kells is in Kingston right now, um, but we are actually moving very soon. Um, the week of the weekend, actually January twenty seventh, we're moving our facility into Duxbury. Um, okay. So just super close, um, same distance, kind of for everybody. So it's not like it's far away. But um, so yeah, so we're out of Kingston right now. Um, we do most of our uh, Tetris stuff out of the gym. Um, okay. But we don't just have clients from the gym. We have clients from all over the place. Um, so definitely check us out on Facebook and Instagram. So we wanted to talk a little bit about today. About uh, We've been doing this all month, and it's, it's been a good month to kind of keep you guys in check and keep you educated. We wanted to talk today a little bit about the upcoming weekend. We all know that this is New Year's weekend. Mm -hmm. It's the last big party weekend for a little while, so we know everybody's going to kind of go off the rails a little bit. Um, I know that myself, I uh, I indulged this past weekend. Um, I was sick for about a week and a half, mm -hmm. so I had been out of the gym for a bit. And yeah. then, um, you know, when you fall out of your gym routine, you fall yeah. into, yeah. you know, and, and it's Christmas, you, yep. you eat a little bit. Yep. <laughs> so I put on a few pounds this week, but I'm already, I'm already back to my normal regimen and dropping it. But, uh, you know, we wanted to talk about this coming weekend because this is another big weekend of drinking and possible binge eating. Mm -hmm. So um, today we're gonna we're gonna show you a few things today um, that are both for the drink side of life mm -hmm. and for the eating side of life. Yeah, a healthy snack, something you can put in, and something you could eat um, before you even go out. Yep. Yeah. That can kind of take up some space so that you don't eat too much once you're exactly. out. Exactly. Yep. So why don't you guys tell us a little bit about what we have here today? So I'll talk about the um, brownies first. So these are made with zucchini and um, oat flour, some cocoa powder that's unsweetened, unsweetened applesauce, and this greens powder that's awesome. Um, it's just veggies in here, um, but it's actually a full serving of fruits and vegetables too. Yeah, yeah of course. Um, and one scoop is about five carbs and that's it. Cool. And it just kind of makes things good look at that. taste a little bit more uh, chocolatey. Which is always good. Chocolate is um, always a good thing. Yes. Mm -hmm. And um, these chocolate chips are awesome too if you're ever making desserts. They're dairy, nut, and soy free. Um, they're a little bit less fat too than the other chocolate chips. So these and are what awesome. What brand is that? Um, Enjoy Life okay. brand. Um, and these two um, are optional. You don't have to add them in. It will save you a little bit of calories to keep them out. But I mean, of course, they make it taste better mm -hmm. as they're chocolate chips. Yep. Um, and then. Uh, they're super easy to make. You do have to grate the zucchini. That takes probably the longest, but once you get through that, it's So now just... what do you do? You cut your ends off and you yes. peel it and then you grate the entire yes. zucchini? Yeah. I actually leave mine peeled. You leave, you don't, you yeah. don't peel it? Okay. Yep. And then... We did that um, last week. We didn't peel it for the pasta yeah. last week. Yeah. yeah. We left it on. Yep. Yeah. I leave the peel on. Um, sometimes you'll get like a bigger piece of peel that you kind of have to like peel off and throw away. Right. But other than that, um, I grate it and then kind of take the moisture out. Um, I think you said that you guys had done that last week too. Yeah, when we did a, um, we did a zucchini pizza a few weeks back with Brooke Wilder as our guest and uh, a zucchini crust pizza. 
And uh, so we we had to drain the zucchini so that yeah. it, would, it would bake like a crust. Yeah. yeah. That yep. was that was fun. We were using uh, um, yeah. What do they call it? The uh, cheesecloth. Cheesecloth. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we're using the cheesecloth and just yep. squishing it yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly. what you're going to get with vegetables, too. They yeah. are water-based, and that's kind of why they're healthy and good for you. So, yeah. Right. Um, yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Exactly. So these are, um, if you do track your macros, these are about four fat, uh, 20 carbs, and five protein for um, about a 30-gram serving. Not all of these are exactly 30 grams because I was just measuring them out for today um, to bring here. But um, that's how we – and to calculate that, you can – we use our app our fitness pal app or um you just uh divide the number of servings that you want and add up all your ingredients and okay. that's how you would calculate the macros for it so, so i took like the total number of carbs and all the ingredients and divided it by 25 servings how long does do they take to make the brownies from start to finish uh probably about an hour okay yeah. uh, <laughs> yes kevin tito's <laughs> is on the nutrition plan <laughs> <laughs> um, there, sh- there should always be a little, sip. but you know, it's something we even talked about last week on the nutrition show. Depending on the alcohol you use, uh, yep. many, many That's true right. alcohols are no carb, no fat, and right. low calories. Yeah. So I'm a Jameson drinker. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I drink Jameson on our Saturday afternoon shows. It's the only time of the week I drink, and I drink Jameson because number one, it's Jameson, but number two, it's only 62 calories yeah. per shot, no exactly. fat, no carbs. It's not going to do me any nutritional damage to have no. two shots of Jameson in a no. four-hour shot. Right. And that's what we're kind of. That's why we have the shot glass out here. So usually, um, do you want me to talk about the drinks too? Yeah, let's let's talk about the um, drinks. So now, so, yeah, so, so we've we've got you a snack to yep. kind of fill your belly up a little bit before you go out, so you don't overeat once you're out. Let's talk about something that can sort of help with the alcohol. Yeah. Side. So um, these are Kill Cliff. If you haven't seen them before, um, this is something that's huge in the CrossFit world um, and definitely in our gym too. Loaded with micronutrients um, to help aid in recovery. Um, so that's why CrossFitters love them, but they also taste really, really good. They are carbonated. Um, so this one's, I think, the Blood Orange. Um, so this actually kind of originated from um, all of our friends over the summer um, doing this at the beach. Just having a kill cliff and then of course the tito's adding the tito's so so is it like a um is it like a red bull um it might taste a little bit like that depending on like um i don't really know what a red bull tastes like so um but i would yeah it definitely has way less sugar um than a red bull does it only has like 25 milligrams uh, milligrams of caffeine too so it's a lot less of a dose but um, I know the correct amount is two ounces of vodka um, that we put in this drink I like that so far yep. so <laughs> there's that um, orange one we can kind of slice it with a little orange there to make it nice and festive and then same thing the uh, lemon lime is another favorite with our members our clients our drinkers um, so same thing it's uh, looks a little lemon limey and you gonna try this? I'm absolutely okay. gonna try this. <laughs> and we ha- we can actually have Courtney try it now too. Good, yes, <laughs> Courtney, Courtney. Courtney turned 21 Courtney recently. Turned 21 yesterday. Yes. So I mean, this is actually for her. Um, so again, two ounces of um, the Tito's. I believe we have a third one. Oh, I'm I actually don't. Well, you could just have some. You could just have some kill clips so you can join okay, yeah. in. All right, very good. Um, You're the she's the she's the ultra healthy doesn't drink person. Mm. But I do like Hill Cliff, so I, I tell you, you know, there's so many studies on the benefits of alcohol, though. Like, sure. ha, ha, what's your take on that? Yep, ab- absolutely. Red wine. Um, red wine has um, many healthy benefits from what a, man, a lot of studies are coming out with lately. Yeah, um, I I see that too. Um, there's also the downside of it, with which is obviously the sugar and the the and in excess. Yeah. Um, so I think if you're trying to get healthy, there's obviously certainly other things that you can do. Of course. Um, other than red wine, but absolutely, um, especially in our program, we we do not tell our clients that they can't drink. Um, we try to get them to do the healthiest alcohol they can. Um, but we don't try to take anything away from our clients. Now, where would you put things, say, on a scale of if you had somebody who goes like, well, I definitely know I'm going to drink. Yep. There you go. Yeah. This, yep. wine, beer. Yep. So something clear. You would put this above wine. Yep. 
and yes. wine above beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Your beer is just gonna bloat you up and give you right. a nice yeah. little beer. A belly. lot of times yeah. too, we don't um, like encourage drinking just because of the choices that then happen when you start. Like we do, obviously. You know, sometimes people have that control issue. So if you can't have just like one or two, or you can't have like your serving of it, then it turns into more, and then sometimes leads it's to like a spiral food choices yeah. too. Yeah. 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 It, you know, and that's that's when you wind up uh, eating pizza at three in the morning. Right, right. <laughs> and that's what we're trying to get away from yes. with the program. So. That used to be me. So when I was hurt, I, you and I talked about sure. the fact that I was hurt yeah. for a while. Um, when I had uh, no good practice going on because I was hurt, so I wasn't yeah. focusing on things. And mm-hmm. I was laying on the couch over there mm-hmm. eating fried chicken and pizza. I, yeah. would, I would get out of my show on Saturday and stop a Kentucky Fried Chicken. Yeah. We would get yeah. home on a Friday and be like, ah, I don't feel like cooking Domino's. Yeah. You know, and exactly. those are the things that you want to avoid. And not that, you know, a drink or two is going to make that happen. Nope. But uh, but right. more than a drink or two and you're ordering a second appetizer, you know, because that's just what you're hungry for at the moment. Um, two, I think, you know, depending on the alcohol you drink, the sugars in the alcohol yeah. will make you hungry. Uh, the, the, the beer... You know, it's just a natural instinct yeah. to want to have a finger food or something yeah, or right. when you're drinking. Yeah. Um, so, you know, it is. it becomes a good practice at that point to either only have one or two or to abstain. Sure. Mm-hmm. And with most of our clients, we're just trying to get them to live a healthier lifestyle because um, that's going to maximize their output in the gym, in life, at work, whatever it is. Um, and if you can kind of cut back on the booze um, and the processed foods you know, um, all the junk that normally goes into brownies. We're just trying to kind of eliminate all that stuff to keep people healthy and um, to keep them feeling better in the gym and outside of the gym too. So, um, of course, we brought it because we understand that it's New Year's. (laughs) You know. And that's what we try. We try to to give people every week an option to Mm -hmm. what we know is going to happen. Yeah. Part of the thing we do on this show every week is try to help everybody educate themselves Mm -hmm. as we're learning too. I mean, I'm, you know, uh, as as much as you know, I like to think I know. I don't know much, you know. In the scheme of things, I go Always watch learn. people every week exactly. who know so much more yeah. than me, and I try to learn sure. one or two things each time. We do we do the same thing, especially yeah. with our clients. We yeah. we have clients like I, like we said from kind of all over the country, and we're learning from them. Um, now, how does your business work? Are you guys? Um, I, I know you're South Shore based, yep. but do you work? Every, yeah. you, you have clients from every I have location. clients in Florida um, mm-hmm. right now, and yeah, it, it doesn't matter. Everything everything that we do is based um, via email um, and contacting them and talking back and forth that way. Um, mm-hmm. So yeah, so uh, we like to have our clients come meet us. We always want to talk to them on the phone if we can. Before Will we, you Skype with a long distance client? Um, yep, I have sure. yeah. definitely. Yeah. But yeah, we you know if they're local, we definitely try to get them into the gym mm-hmm. so that we can kind of learn more about them. Um, it is this stuff and, and learning how to eat correctly uh, is so individualized that the more we know about our clients, the better because it's only going to help them in the in the long run. So we try really hard to keep the accountability part of the biggest part of it because um, it only benefits them. Yeah. So. And uh, Kim made a good uh, point here that said the trick to not eating with alcohol is the alcohol gets processed first and the food right. gets stored. Yep. And that's a great point. Yep. Um, mm-hmm. You know, so when you're when you're five drinks in and then you start eating, that food is going to do nothing but sit on you. Right. Sit there. So that's absolutely sit true. Sit there for the long haul. Yep. <laughs> um, so do you guys want to try it? Yeah, which one? Which one would you like? You since since you're recently 21, I will let you choose. Uh, I'm definitely more of an orange person. More of an orange person. Yeah. I'm fine with the lemon lime. Okay. Okay. Cheers and happy New Year's. Cheers. Cheers. See, I like that you have an orange. Lime. <laughs> Looks good. Oh, see, I could drink too many of those. Well, yeah, that's the problem. I think <laughs> that happens too, especially on the beach. And that's um, very tasty. Yeah. 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 And so, I mean, you can taste these too. Um, these right. are definitely like, our members. I think they like look forward to working out because that's what they get to have afterwards. Because right. like, it's it's you know sweet. It's a little sugary, um, but it definitely kind of um, yeah. it hits the spot right after a workout. And like I said, it yeah, has the very micro- low in calories, a little bit of sodium, yep. not too much carb. The micronutrients yeah. are really good too to aid, like I said, in recovery. Mm-hmm. Um. 
So let me ask you this, since since you have people drinking this, what is your take on supplements? Because people like to use supplements in sure. replacement of other things as well. And this could fall into a group like that. Yeah. yeah. This is kind of like what we go for with our supplements. Um, right. You know, because we know a lot of clients are not huge veggie people. Right. Um, we've, we've come across so that. So you're talking about yeah. this? So that stuff's really huge um, yeah. for a lot of people because it does kind of give them um, the antioxidants, the micronutrients that they need um, in its powder form. So we can put it in stuff like this or, right. um, or in smoothies or, you know, uh, shakes, whatever. Um, but for supplements, um, you mean like like fish oils and stuff like that. Well, there's there's so many people will find so many ways to use so many different supplements. I know that I, at, uh, at, at my age, I have found that yeah. supplements benefit me. Mm -hmm. When I was younger, I never took them. Yeah. But now for connective tissue things and for doing you know for joint issues and stuff, I take a lot not a lot but I take a, a fairly regular supplement mix. Yep. Um, I would take my protein powder and mix it with a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. You know, like I guess like much like you were talking with that, but this is this is just greens. Yep. Mm -hmm. So how would you say with like a what's something you could make with a protein powder, like a mudslide? Would you would you be able to take a protein powder and make something sure. like that with it? I would think so, definitely. Yeah. That's not something we so there, yeah, not something you would think about. But I like but, it. But it's a little <laughs> yeah. different take on it. So you but could I actually like it, take yeah. like a chocolate a chocolate yeah. protein mix or a chocolate peanut right. butter. Right. Yeah. Mm. A chocolate yeah. peanut butter protein well, mix we actually mud use, slide. Um, <laughs> a lot of our clients use the powdered peanut butter also because it's okay. way yeah. less in fat than yep. the regular. Mm -hmm. um, so that's something. What's that the new one that's out? G butter? Well, it's not new, but there's a G butter. Uh, uh, it's a uh, it's a really healthy protein peanut butter. Yeah, we get there's one from Stop and Chop that's actually pretty healthy too. And yeah, those can be misleading. Oh, the PB as butter, well. I think is the other one. PB one, there's PB, PB one, Fit. Yeah. Yep. Um, there's quite a bunch of them, but you do have to same thing. Like that's one thing that we are really on top of our clients with our clients about is, you know, reading the back of the labels and making sure or seeing exactly what's in them because, you know, even PB two, it's peanut butter, um, but a lot of them will add sugar in to make it taste better and stuff. So, um, you know, we try to caution our clients, and every client's different. So, like you were talking about with the supplements, um, every client's different. So we depending on who it is and who we're working with, it's so individualized. So I would recommend something totally different for Courtney right. than for you. Um, right. So we're very individualized with yeah. supplements and um, trying to help and, uh, our, and aid our clients into what they should be taking for their specific goals. Right. I think that's the thing about nutrition too. I think a lot of people think nutrition is turnkey when it's yep. incredibly personal. Incredibly, that's why we work so one-on-one -on -one with them. Yeah. Yep. Um, you know, you, we, we've had a bunch of discussions over the last two months with different nutrition folks, and, and that's the one consistent is don't look at what anybody's doing. Find out what works for you. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. It doesn't. Definitely with this, because macronutrients, um, every individual needs a different amount. So your yep. numbers are going to be different than mine. Coordinators are going to be different than yours. Um, so well, plus, men, you know, men and women, too. You look at a lot of women talk about, oh, well, he dropped weight so fast. Men are just inherently built to drop weight faster yeah. than men. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. We, you know, we it's know. just our, our metabolisms <laughs> are just... We get mad our, at our male clients. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not what you guys have anything to worry about, but um, it, 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 is a, it is something that, you know, when you're working with a female client that you have to think about sure. is what yeah. is the different nutrition aspects that she needs versus yeah. a guy client. Yeah, yeah and Especially, age too, yeah. age is a big part of it. Mm -hmm. And we've now, Where would you with... say the breaks are? Like a, a 30 year old, a 40 year old, or a 35 year old, a 45 year old? Mm. Where would you say a metabolism changes? Probably, it depends. Um, it depends again for most people on their activity level and, yep. and how active they are. That's, and that's um, another point. Yeah, so it-, it I think know, a sedentary 30 year old is gonna have, a sedentary 25 year old is gonna have a far worse metabolism than an absolutely. active 40 year old. Absolutely. Yeah. So oh, there's so many factors. And that's that going to change how quickly they can lose weight, how mm -hmm. quickly their body changes when they do start to work out. The physical changes in the yeah. musculature and the physical changes in the body, even just the shape, I think it completely depends on what you're doing at yeah. the time. Yeah, like if exactly. you've been sitting on the couch or if you've been yeah. doing at least something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. What? Uh, so somebody walks in your door. Hi, I'm, I'm John. I'm 40 years old, let's say. I'm... 
50 pounds overweight. I haven't worked out in five years. What do you, what's your, mm. what's your first recommendation? Well, let's get you moving. Yeah. <laughs> let's get you moving in the best way we can. And you, you know, for depending on, you know, what they can handle and what they can't, we, we really start them off, um, super, super easy and super slow. Mm-hmm. Um, people don't realize though that, and something I didn't for a long time too, is the nutrition part of it that needs to be first so you know we can get you walking outside and or you know walking on a you know treadmill or lunging or whatever um, but what you're putting into your body that's what matters you know and we'll say abs are made in the kitchen yes. absolutely so mm-hmm. you know that uh, you know they can be made right there too <laughs> but, but honestly because that is that is a an alternative sure to not let you get out of control. That's a way to curb your appetite with yep. something that's not gonna be detrimental to you as far as putting on weight or putting on too many right. carbs. Or We tell people every week, um, one of the things I talk about a lot is that carbs are a straight pipe fuel. And carbs wanna go in and come out. They wanna get used right now. And a lot of people eat a carb and then sit. Hmm. And that carb's got nowhere to go, so it goes that way. Sure. <laughs> um, you know, something like this lets you take it in and it's not necessarily going to spread out on you because it's not such a bad option. No, especially if it if you can if you can make one of those squares fit your numbers for the day. Yep. Um, then it's only going to work for you. And people talk about macros. I don't think a lot of people understand what macros are. So but, but a lot of people talk about macros. Macros are very simply your balance of proteins, fats, and carbohydrates. When you take them, how you take them, and I don't think a lot of people understand the what and when yeah. portion of it. Yeah. Because yeah. what you eat and when you eat it are both vitally important to how everything affects you. If you've got a total macro for the day, but you're eating all your carbs right before bed, yeah, that's mm-hmm. a that's a bad yeah. way to make your macro work for the day. Sure, and we and a lot of clients struggle with that too because yeah. they like having, um, you know, a treat or something right before they go to bed. Yeah. They love sitting on the couch and having that, you know, bag of chips or whatever it is. So getting away from that, you know, hoarding them all until the later parts of your day is a real big challenge for a lot of our clients. Yeah. I always say yeah. try to get your try to do your carbs early ish. Depending on where you when you're working out. Yeah. Depending yeah, on yeah. like um, so I'm a okay, let me ask you this then. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm an intermittent faster. Mm-hmm. What's your take on that? Well, and, and I ask all our nutrition sure. guests that um, question because I think it's it's the cool thing these yeah. days, but I've been doing it you know, it's yeah. something that's just... You don't have a lot of carbs anyway in your diet, do you? Uh, not not these days yeah. uh, with with yeah. everything I've just done and all the way. But but to be fair, um, I, I do. I just do them all kind of in the beginning of the day. My that's first fine. meal Especially, of the day, yeah. second yeah. meal of the day after yep. five-ish. No. Especially because you're working and, out by then anyway, right? Uh, my workout's first thing in the morning. Yeah. Right. So you're fine. Mm-hmm. You're, you're getting your carbs. You're I typically out. burn empty. Mm-hmm. So I don't take carbs before my workout. So mm-hmm. I'm burning my fat stores. Then I carb up to get some energy after the workouts yeah. Yeah. and with my first meal. Um, but I also stop eating at 9 p.m. Yeah. So there's no late night binging, there's no late night snacking. So I don't have to worry about that carb sitting yeah. on me late at night yeah. either. And that's just, that's what we do and that's what people finally realize. We, we do 12 week programs mm-hmm. um, and people, you know, sometimes in the eighth or ninth week, then they're finally figuring that out, you know, that they can't eat all their carbs and, eight, and they're like, oh, okay, that's working if I space them out correctly during the day. So yeah. that's why, yeah. you know, the program is so, uh, it's such a learning tool for a lot of people um, because they do, they learn a lot about like what you just said, when they're good, when they're bad, um, when they work for you and when they don't. And it's it's even good carbs versus bad carbs. Not all carbs are created equal. And that's another thing I don't think people understand. Oh, uh, uh, the carbs I'm getting from A are the same as the carbs I'm getting yeah. from B, and they can be drastically different. You know, what, yeah. depending on the source that you're getting your carbs from. Mm-hmm. Uh, anything else you guys want to chat about? Do you want to just talk about our info session? Where can where can everybody? Oh, yeah, let sure. you guys have a, an event coming up. I know you, we wanted to talk about the event. Yeah, so on January 6th... I'm going to drink a little more of this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you have a brownie, too. Yeah, yeah I want to have a brownie, too. Brownie. Um, I want everybody to look at these brownies we're giving before I touch them. <laughs> look, at that, look at that tray. Look at that tray. And it goes nice with the fruit. See, that's... Mm-hmm. that's. Uh, but then the Hershey's kind of throws it off yeah, for me. But okay. Yeah, it's you got to have a little bit. Uh, I'm going to go with the little one. Oh, my goodness. They're nice and soft. Okay. So, like I said, the last one of these we ate were made differently, though. So mm-hmm. I'm saying Yeah. <laughs> Yummy. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're leaving all those here, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, kidding. Kidding. I'm kidding. Please don't. We'll make, yeah, we'll make these for our, our info session. Because my, uh, yes, m- sure. nobody else will ever see those. I'll finish those. Yeah. <laughs> so, yes, yeah. uh, you have an event coming up. Uh, yep, January 6th at um, 1130 at CrossFit Kells in Kingston. We'll still be in Kingston, right? Wow. Yes. Um, we're going to have a little info session um, for anyone who's new wanting to look at our programs or even if you have done a program of ours before but you're maybe interested in something else that we could offer you um because we do have our basic macro program but then we also offer meal plans and strength and nutrition as long as endurance and nutrition so if you're someone who's done maybe one of those and wants to try out another one you can certainly feel free to stop by too um, yeah. Learn a little bit about us. We have an event page, right? So people can. Sign yes, up. we're making one. Yeah. It's public. So tell so. everybody where they can find you online. Uh, uh, we're on Facebook and Instagram, just at Tetris Nutrition Consulting. So. Um, you can like and follow us there. And what's that date one more time? Uh, January 6th. January 6th. 11 30. CrossFit Kells, Kingston. Yes. Go down there. Yep. Um, so that's Facebook and Instagram. Do you have a website? We do. It's not up yet. Yes. Okay. <laughs> it's in the works. Yes. Okay. Great. Well, <laughs> find them. Find them online at yeah. you know Facebook and Instagram for now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and anything else you'd like to? Talk? What do you? I don't think so. Have a happy new year. Have, have a happy, new year. happy yeah. new year. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this one more time. Cheers. Thank you so yeah. much for Thank coming you. on and Thank for you. sharing your knowledge with everybody. Awesome. Yeah. Thank Cheers you. to you guys. Cheers. Have an awesome oh. weekend. Have a great New Year's. Uh, those resolutions you're waiting for for next week, start them today. There's no need to wait till next week. Start today. Exactly. Make the brownies. Thanks. Yes, make the brownies. And have a Tito's. See you guys next week. Happy New Year. Mm-hmm.